Hey, my name is Becky. Welcome to my channel. Um, I decided to start a booktube channel. I've wanted to for a while, but don't have any experience with YouTube videos, but I thought maybe I would just go ahead and post a couple and learn along the way. <laughs> so I thought my first video I would do the booktube um, newbie tag just to kind of introduce myself. So my name is Becky. I am a 29 year old mother of three living in Canada and I will answer some of these questions so you can get to know me a little bit better. So the first question is why did you start this channel? So I've been like a long time listener, first time caller um, to booktube for like a really long time and I've got a couple favorite booktubers that I'm like obsessed with and I love the booktube community is like so fun and like you know, I, I love the idea of connecting with other readers because um, as some very intelligent booktubers have said you know reading is such a solitary usually activity like you kind of you're on your own and you hopefully have a couple or people in your life that you can kind of gush about books to and they don't mind but uh, yeah, you're usually kind of just on your own and you're like, oh, I wish I could tell people what I think about this. They're like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like I need to share this with somebody and I thought this was a good way to do it. I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can't see anything. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Um, I guess just me. <laughs> There's so many really intelligent and um, funny and creative booktubers out there. Um, I can't promise that I'll be any of those things, but uh, I will give my honest opinions about books and my insight, um, and maybe it'll be different than most people's, or very similar, I'm not sure, but um, if anything, you get to listen to me talk in my funny Canadian accent. Uh, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, uh, mostly just the discourse. I'm super excited to like put my ideas and opinions out there about books and to get a ton of really amazing book recommendations and uh, just connect with other readers. I have a bookstagram. I, I have a bookstagram. I'm working on a bookstagram. And uh, I have a Twitter. I'm learning how to use it. <laughs> I sound like a really like out of touch <laughs> young person. <laughs> like I am learning the Twitter. Yeah, so but I'm yeah navigating the social platforms so that I can I want more reading recommendations and I want to be able to share them with people and I want to be a part of the community that's why I'm here don't mind my hair it's being crazy got big hair so why do you love reading that's a good question um I love everything about reading I love that you know it's a very kind of quiet I love the quiet personal um, thing to do. You can share it with people and um, I think that's exciting but I love the escapism. I like learning things. I love just oh, the creative aspect of it. I'm not a writer at all. I know a lot of readers are, are also amazing writers. Uh, I'm not. I It's not something I've ever really delved into. Um, so reading other people's work and just kind of seeing their different ideas and how creative they are and it's incredible. Yeah, I really love that. What book or series are you into reading? So before October, I think of last year, um, I would have answered this question probably completely different, but I go through like phases. I think a lot of readers do, but some of them like kind of pigeonhole themselves into like a certain genre or, you know, category, but I go through phases where I'm obsessed with like a specific genre or theme or topic and I just like read it obsessively <laughs> and then I'm just like on to the next thing. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a personality type that like resonates with that but I don't know what it is. And still now um, I was really obsessed with like literary fiction specifically um, and I still read a ton of it but right now I'm kind of delving into the YA world <laughs> so it's completely new to me um, but before I had my youngest which I had another baby in November I decided I needed something kind of light like I was at the end of my pregnancy and I was like oh I can't really focus or like I just all these like really complex like you know thoughts and emotions and some of the like books I was reading I was like I just need 
I need to read something kind of uh, fluffy is, is, uh, is not, I'm not trying to say that YA is complete fluff or anything, but I needed something light. Um, so I had this book. <laughs> some people are gonna laugh at me right now, but um, <laughs> because I know there's a lot of, some people really love this author and her books and some people can't stand them, but um, it had been recommended to me by, I can't even remember who, but somebody bookish and um, they're like, oh, it's really amazing. You love fantasy. So this is great. And it's romance, which, you know, I was looking for to kind of delve into romance because I hadn't really read anything. Um, so they recommended A Court of Thorns and Roses. Something you're shaking your head right now. Uh, I, it had sat on my shelf for years. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not going to read that. I like read the synopsis. I got it on sale for like $5 and I was like, and um, that's the only song I'll really enjoy. I picked it up and it was like, okay I liked that and then I bought the next one and I read that in like two days I was like mm, okay I liked that even more uh and then got the third one and I was like okay that was that was final was it the most prolific thing I've read ever no was it like a fast kind of snappy like plot and like romance and like borderline a little smutty and like yeah yeah I liked it I'm not gonna lie totally I will buy more when she releases books in that series you got me <laughs> I, I'm not ashamed. It was really good. I really enjoyed that. And I was like, you know what? There's This was good. And I'm like, I haven't read YA in a long time. I loved YA fantasy when I was a teenager. And I loved it. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give some more books a try. So this year is about the YA category. I'm going to explore what young adults have been reading. What have you guys been reading for the last 10 years or more? I can't remember the last time I picked up a YA book before before that so um I'm excited I know that booktube has a really strong YA component like there's a lot of people who read YA and you know recommend YA so I I'm in good hands I feel like with in this community I'm gonna find some good recommendations sorry if I keep clapping my hands <laughs> I have small children so I'm excited about that um but yeah typically I read literary fiction I do read fantasy um I not as much as I would like I love fantasy and I need to get more into even adult fantasy but um love manga as you can see I'm in my room right now I have to hide from my kids when I film <laughs> love manga graphic novels um yeah I love everything genre fiction I'm here for it. I'm gonna read it. If it's good, I'm here for it. So you're gonna get a little bit of everything. So but series, I mean, I'm, I'm in the middle of, you know, a few different series in different, I mean, historical fiction, fantasy, YA, like there's a few of them. And I'll make a video about like stuff I'm currently reading or currently in the midst of or series that I want to finish. Um, that'll be another video. All right, let me see. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I feel like I'm really <laughs> active like on like commenting. I feel like I get my questions answered quite frequently. I just like their opinions. I like to hear, I like to hear when they've read something that I've read. I love it when I agree with them, when I'm like, yeah, I loved that too. But I find it really interesting when I completely disagree with like my favorite booktubers. There's so many I could mention. Booktubers I watch all the time are Mercy's Bookish Musings. I've been watching her videos for years and I love her because we have a lot of the same opinions but also sometimes you read stuff and like we'll have a completely opposite feeling on it and I'm like really? And I would love hearing you know how she feels about it because I, I find that so interesting that like somebody who has a very similar book taste to you most of the time and then just they'll read something that you're like oh I love that right it's so good and they're like no I hated that <laughs> I'm like what but it just shows like people are completely different and they're experiencing their their reading completely differently but I mean I love Mel to be any she's so sweet she answers me when I like bug her on social media and I'm like commenting we're watching your videos and she's always like oh yay and she's like so positive love that books with Chloe amazing Elliot Brooks love her opinions on the fantasy genre I and mean, just there's so many i love everybody <laughs> i just love to hear everybody's opinions and different opinions i love it so i don't know my question would be like i just want your opinions on everything that we've read in common <laughs> what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome i don't know so i'm gonna do booktube very casually this is just for fun i just want to share what i'm reading and hear what other people are reading so um i guess the hardest thing to overcome would be find time to 
shoot videos away from my very small horde of demon children. When did you start reading? Like ever? I don't know. I was like a really small child when I started reading. Three, four? I'm not sure. If you mean like obsessively, <laughs> probably, I don't know, I always read. I mean, I was reading a lot of YA like kind of chick lit when I was like 12 and 13. A lot of YA fantasy. Tamara Pierce. Um, I started reading Stephen King when I was like 13 or 14 and I got really into like horror and I was I was into that for a long time when I was a teenager. Can't read that much horror now. I kind of get scared. I can't be like too graphic. Like if it's just like scary, something spooky is gonna happen. Like I'm, I'm there for that. Like give me the supernatural kind of like the creature horror. Um, that's fine. But don't give me something like real world, like true crime. Mm -mm. Can't do that anymore. Not with kids. You get too scared. Uh, where do you read? I don't know if you mean where in the world. I'm in Canada. I live in Eastern Canada, New Brunswick. It's cold. Yeah, so I live in Canada. Um, I, this is home to me. I live in a really small little village um, of like less than 800 people. It's cold. There's lots of time to read because you can't go anywhere or you can, but I don't like to because I hate I hate the cold. I might be Canadian, but I'm not out there, you know, playing hockey or skating or whatever. I'm cold. I want to stay inside. Um, my kids are really very small and can't handle the cold for long periods of time, which is a-okay with me because I don't want to go outside. I can't wait for the spring, though. I'm, I want to go outside in the sun. It's nice. And then we can read outside till the bugs get too bad. Then we're back inside. And what kind of books do you like to read? Yeah, so I think I already explained this. Um, everything. I'm just trying to think of like um, authors I love. Like um, I'm reading Sarah J. Moss's books. Uh, Lisa C. I love historical fiction. Um, I love her books. Heather O'Neill, amazing Canadian author. Love her books. Her books are amazing. Her short stories are great. She's a like really amazing voice. I love graphic novels and manga. I just read Saga from beginning till end where it ended. Looking forward to more because that was like the best graphic novel series I've ever read. I was like this is I'll read the first one just to be like I read Saga. Everyone talks about Saga. I read the first one. You know whatever. I gave it a try. I didn't expect too much. I don't know why. Like I love Saga and Fantasy. I don't know why I thought. I was just kind of like eh, this doesn't really sound like it's for me obsessively read the entire series just took them all out from the library <laughs> Haruki Murakami love his stuff Augustine Burroughs <laughs> I was just trying to like name like different genres and authors and you're gonna you're gonna hear my opinions about everything I uh, know I'm I'm gonna read I'm gonna read a lot of YA this year that's that's the goal I see what I've been missing out on um but I've got I've got a ton of books that need to be read. I'm gonna do everything I can to try to shrink my TBR shelf. Cause you know, we're gonna be staying home for the next little while. Um, I don't wanna talk too much about that, but since we're stuck at home, yeah, we're gonna do what we can to read the books that we already have and try not to buy too many more right away. Anyway, so that's me. This is my channel. I'm gonna get better, I hope, at filming videos and find a better backdrop than just my one random little um, manga shelf in my room. I'll get better at editing them, <laughs> hopefully. Maybe I'll learn editing in my extra time at home. We'll see. Well, thanks for watching my video. And uh, the next one I'm gonna post is me unboxing the March Owl Crate. It's my first owl crate ever. Um, I wanted to treat myself this month to something nice and I did and I'm just gonna keep treating myself every month <laughs> um, but yeah so I will post that next and you can check that out talk soon bye mm -hmm.